Hi DIYers, Joe here from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to show you how to program in a 5800 combo to your Vista system. Now, the 5800 combo, it's a great combination smoke and CO detector. It has a smoke detector and CO detector built right into the unit. It can also detect for low temperatures in your uh, location, so if it drops below 41 degrees Fahrenheit, you can have it send a signal to your panel. If you're using a Vista system and you're looking for a combination smoke and CO device, this is a great option to use. It's highly recommended, works great, and it actually looks uh, and matches most decors pretty well. So on our Vista system, before you program this in, you're just going to want to make sure that you do have wireless set up. You're going to want a wireless receiver or wireless transceiver for this to work. We do in that we have our 6160 RF ready to go on our Vista 21 IP. Now, the way that this programs into the system is it actually has two different serial numbers on it. It has one serial number for the smoke portion and one serial number for the CO portion. If I take the back plate off, you'll be able to see that right up here on this sticker, we see our smoke serial number right there and we see our CO serial number right below it. I'm gonna use these both to manually enter in the serial numbers to the system today. So on our Vista system, we're gonna enter programming. So I'm gonna do installer code 4112800. As you can see, installer code 20, that means we're in programming. To get the zone programming, I'm gonna do star five six. And then set to confirm, I'm gonna hit zero, which is already selected, and star to confirm. So now we're in zone programming, and I wanna to go to the first zone that supports a wireless device, which is zone number nine. So I'm gonna do zero, nine star we're seeing our zone overview right here i'm going to click star this is where we're going to tell the system what the device does or the zone response type rather so as we're going to program in our smoke portion first i'm going to do zero nine which sets up fire without verification this means as soon as the smoke detector goes off it's going to send a signal to the panel and a fire alarm will occur i'm going to click star partition number one that's fine star this is our report code assignment. We're just gonna to wanna to make sure that we put a one in the first uh, number slot to make sure that it does send a report code to central station. Assume that we do have this set up with a central station. So I'm gonna click one and then star. As you can see, our input type's already set up for an RF transmitter. That's saying that we're gonna use a wireless device in this zone. I'm gonna click star. And then this is where we enter our serial number. And for the smoke detection portion, it is going to be on loop number one. As you can see, it is set for loop number one. So my smoke serial is 0, 0, 0, 7, 1, 9, 5, star. Our loop is correct. We're going to hit star again. And that's our zone overview. Everything looks good. And we have now programmed in the smoke portion to work as a fire alarm on the system. I'm going to go ahead and hit star again. Program alpha, this will program in the words of the smoke detector. If you want it to show up and say smoke detector on the screen or something else when it goes off, I'm not gonna do this right now. And if you do have an alarm company monitoring your system, there's a good chance that they can remotely log into your panel and help add these words for you. It's not a problem to do it on the keypad. It's just kind of tedious and it takes a little while as you have to look it up. You have to look up the information in the manual and enter it all in manually. So if you can get your alarm monitoring company to do this for you, it's highly recommended. So I'm gonna do no to confirm or zero to confirm. Great, now we're back to our zone overview. So next I'm gonna program in the smoke maintenance zone. What this will do is this will send a signal to the panel if the smoke detector uh, detects that it needs to be cleaned. It's a very useful little uh, feature and it will notify you to go take the smoke down and just clean all the parts out and make sure that it's uh, still up and good to go. So we're on zone number 10, that's the next zone. I'm gonna click the star to confirm. Again, we have our zone overview, star. The zone type for this one is going to be zone type 12. This is a 24 hour monitor. What this is gonna do is that if this uh, trouble goes into effect, it won't set the system off into alarm, but it will send a notification to the system and you will hear the keypad beep and it will show up on the keypad. Now, if you do want that trouble condition to go to your monitoring station, you will want trouble reporting enabled. And again, if you do have this monitored or your system monitored by an alarm company, 
ask them to help set this up and they will be able to either walk you through setting it up or remote into your system to set it up. So now that we have this set, I'm gonna click start to confirm. Partition number one is set. Again, if you do want it to report, we're gonna to have to put a number one in our report code field in the first slot. Then I'm gonna click star to confirm. We do want number three for the RF transmitter selection, star to confirm. And then again, I'm gonna use the same smoke serial number, but I'm gonna select loop number two for this feature. So zero, 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 seven, one, nine, five. Start to confirm that, and then loop number two. Start to confirm. There's our zone overview, everything looks good. Start to confirm again, and I'm not gonna enter the alpha at this time. So now we have the last portion of the first serial number. This is gonna be for low temperature. So this will be if the temperature in the location where this is mounted drops below 41 degrees Fahrenheit, it will send a signal to the system. So yes, zone 11 is what we want, star. There's a zone overview, hit star to confirm. Zone type, we're, again, we're gonna select zone number, or zone type number 12 for 24 hour monitor, which will do the same thing as how we had the second loop programmed. If this trouble condition goes into effect, it will send a notification to the system. And again, if you do want this trouble to go up to your central station, just talk to your alarm company and they'll be able to help you set that up. Start to confirm, partition number one, that's correct. Want to enable the report code. So in the first slot, I'm gonna put a one there. RF transmitter as the input type, that's what we want. And then I'm gonna use the same serial number again, 0, 0, 0, 7, 1, 9, 5 except this loop is gonna be number three. Start to confirm, there's a zone overview, it all looks good. Start to confirm again, I'm not gonna program the alpha at this time. Now, as you can see, on the back, our CO serial number is the same serial number plus one. So it's gonna be 0007196. So enter the zone number, 12 is the next open one. That's what we want, so we're gonna jump into that. There's our zone overview hit star. What we're gonna do for this one is enter zone type number 14, and that enters it as a CO zone for the CO detector. Hit star, partition one, correct. Just like the others, we're gonna enter one in the first slot to enable the report code, hit star. Input type, it, uh, it is the same as all the others, number three for RF transmitter, star. And then the serial number is 0007196. Star to confirm it, and then loop number one, star. So an overview looks good. We're going to hit star, and we're not going to enter the alpha at this time. So now we're at the next open zone, and this last zone available on, on the smoke detector is uh, the carbon monoxide end-of-life monitoring. Carbon monoxide detectors have about a 10-year lifespan, and when this is enabled, this will actually send a trouble signal and notify you when the CO detector is getting near the end of its life. It's a super convenient feature and it's much easier than remembering when you actually mounted the device. So our zone overview is right there. We're gonna hit star. For this one, just like the others, we're gonna enter zone number 12 for 24 hour monitor to get that notification. Hit star, partition number one is correct star, enter one for the report code slot, hit star, RF transmitter is what we want, on number three, hit star, and again, we're going to enter the CO serial number, 7196, star, and then loop number two, star. And there you go. There's a zone overview. I'm going to hit star to confirm. We're not going to program the alpha at this time. I'm going to pop the cover on the back of my uh, 5800 smoke or 5800 combo, the tamper in this device automatically programs in, just so you know. With that set, I'm gonna hit zero, zero to exit zone programming and then star 99 to back out of programming. And there you go. And now we're gonna test the detector just to show what it looks like when we, uh, when we use the test buttons on the device. I did have Alarm Grid download the descriptions into the system too, so it will show up as smoke and CO when we do our tests. To test 5800 combo, really all you have to do is either click the smoke test button or the CO test button. 
I'm going to click the smoke test button now. It's going to enunciate that the test is going to occur. And then we're going to see it occur on the actual keypad. So the smoke test is right there. Click it. If it doesn't work when you first click it, try it again. Smoke sensor is good. Battery life is at least 12 months. The alarm will now sound in five seconds. Press test to cancel. And we should see it appear on the keypad. So I'm going to click the test button to cancel it, which will silence the CO or the smoke CO. And then on the keypad, as we can see, we have fire 09 smoke. That is the zone that we programmed the smoke portion of the combo detector into. To cancel this, I'm just going to enter our master code one, two, three, four, and one, which will silence it. And then one, two, three, four, one to clear it. Now let's test the CO portion. So again, just like the smoke, we're going to click the CO test button. CO sensor is good. Remaining sensor life is at least 12 months. Battery life is at least 12 months. The alarm will now sound in five seconds. Press test to cancel. And just like the smoke portion, we're going to see the CO portion show up on the keypad. That's the device going off. And as we can see, we have alarm CO12, which is where we program the CO into our system at. So I'm going to click the CO test button to cancel. CO sensor is good. Remaining sensor I actually reinitiated it. <laughs> as you can see, if that happens and it goes off again, all you're going to have to do is click the button to cancel it. So the test is canceled. Again, on our keypad, let's enter the master code. One, two, three, four, and then one to, clip, to silence it. And then one, two, three, four, one to clear it. As you can see, the system is back to its ready state. And that's how you test the 5800 combo after you have it programmed in. That's how to program in a 5800 combo to your Vista 21 IP system. If you have any questions about your Vista system, the 5800 combo, programming or alarm systems in general, feel free to head over to our website, www.alarmgrid.com. Give us a call at 888-818-7728 or send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe. And if you want to be notified when we post future videos, hit the notification button below and we'll send you an update when we do so. Thanks for watching and have a great day.